Hi, brothers and sisters. The scripture you're looking at is from Philippians chapter 3. Starts in, in verse 19. And uh, the verse 20 is really what I want to focus on. Our citizenship is in heaven. And for those of you maybe that are still on the fence as to whether dreaming is from God or we can have dreams from God, even though it's obvious in Bible times there were dreams from God for both the Joseph in the Old Testament and the Joseph in the New Testament. Um, Jesus' father, when Mary was pregnant, had three dreams that led him to where Jesus was born. Um, but there may be some people that are still uncomfortable with saying dreams are from God. So I'm going to share my dream and whether it was just my dream or a dream from God, I think there's a lot we can learn from it either way. So last night in my dream, I was really excited to go to the airport. I could not wait. So I went ahead of my family. I went before them. I ran to the airport. Um, there was a line of people waiting patiently in line but a bunch of people ran to the front of the airport they were so excited and I was like that looks like a fun group I'm gonna go with them so we all ran excitedly to the front of the airport we couldn't get on we couldn't wait to get on the plane and then I realized I had forgotten my passport and that was my only ID apparently I was carrying or you know you just had to have your passport um, to show where your citizenship was. And so um, I had to wait. I had to wait for the rest of the family to get to the airport because my husband was carrying my passport. Now when I first wake up, woke up, I was like, hmm, I guess I don't have anything to share today because, you know, that was just some random dream because I know I'm saved. I have my salvation. I have my passport. My citizenship is in heaven. But then as I started thinking about it more, I realized, you know, I still owned a passport. I still had it. My citizenship still represented in this dream was in heaven. Um, and I was just so excited to get to heaven that I just ran on ahead. And I couldn't wait with all my brothers and sisters that were so excited. I wanted to run on ahead with them. And, um, you know, it worked out for the best because even though we couldn't leave the airport yet, there were people even there that were hungry and needed to be fed. Um, and we were doing unto others as we would have them to do unto us. We were feeding people, serving people. Um, I was like feeding a nurse some soup. I bought her some soup and then later she was, you know, giving me some medicine at the doctor's office. So. We were serving one another, helping one another, helping heal one another, feed each other, keep each other strong, encourage each other. And then we also noticed there was a guy and whose life preserver was still in the tree, which I think that represents um, there were still people that need to be saved. And salvation, you know, from the flood, from the wrath, from the judgment is that life preserver. Jesus is our life. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And that was in the tree, which is the cross. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And so his life preserver, his salvation that he still needed to put on was in that tree. So there were still people, even while we were waiting there at the airport, that needed to know that Jesus died on the tree. He died in the, on the cross to save us from our sins so we could put on that life preserver of salvation to save us from the coming flood, the coming judgment, whatever judgments are coming on the earth, which are many in Revelation. And so we were pointing out to the guy, look, look, there's your life preserver in the tree, in Jesus. And, you know, we helped him see that that was where he was going to get his salvation was in Jesus. So if any of you are, haven't seen that, haven't opened your eyes to the fact that Jesus is the one that will save you from all the coming judgments on the earth, then choose Jesus. 
you know, verse 19 that you're looking at um, says, those whose citizenship isn't in heaven, their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach and their glory is in their shame. So as we were eating, you know, I, a lot of times chocolate's my weakness. So first I just chose chocolate for myself. You know, I've been praying about that to the Lord. I don't want my stomach to be my God, you know. And so then I made a better choice. I bought the minestrone for me and another, um, the nurse. And so, but the minestrone kind of was my um, clue that we weren't, we were in a foreign land. You know, here on earth, we're in a foreign land. We're, our citizenship is in heaven, so we're in a foreign land. So the minestrone was just kind of my clue that we were in a foreign land. And maybe some of you watching are from Italy. Well, we walked out and then there was a, I thought it was going to be a baseball game. You know, I thought, you know, I was at home on earth watching baseball and listening to Vince Scully and the Dodger, watching the Dodgers. But <clears throat> it wasn't my homeland. I all, suddenly realized it wasn't a Dodger game. I was watching a soccer game and you know it was um, I think it was in Spanish maybe the the broadcasting so um, or it was live so it'd be the announcer so anyways I you know if you're in a Latin American country or I don't know if that was representative of Spain or Mexico or where we were but um, there was also minestrone so that's symbolic of Italy anyways the point was we're all in a foreign land here on earth and our citizenship <clears throat> is in heaven. And we are eagerly awaiting. It's not wrong to eagerly await a Savior, as verse 20 says. We're eager, eagerly awaiting our Savior, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that we will be like his glorious body. So I know sometimes we're on we're in pain here on earth, but in my dream, you know, we went and we got the medicine that we needed. So, you know, guys, in case Jesus doesn't come back tomorrow, make sure you're taking care of yourselves and going to the doctor and doing all that good stuff. But in verse 19, it says their destiny is destruction. There were actually airplanes that were in the sky and there were people that were jumping out to their destruction. They they were not choosing Jesus. They were not choosing their life preservers, their parachutes. They were just jumping out of the plane. And uh, there were some that did have parachutes. And uh, it, they weren't in the plane. They weren't in the rapture. But they were going to go through some tribulations because they landed in, you know, they landed, they did land in some trees. So maybe representative again of the cross. They did eventually find Jesus in the cross and were saved, but they had to, you know, make a crash landing, you know, because they didn't make the original rapture. They, they jumped out of the plane. So anyways, uh, yeah, I guess there are more mountains to climb. Um, there's more things to do, but uh, there's nothing wrong with being eager um, for our Savior to return, as verse 20 says. And um, I think I got all the details in that dream. I think I explained everything. So, again, it could just be my dream, but there's a lot in there to learn. So I just, you know, I didn't even realize till I woke up what the symbolism of the tree was. You know, maybe even till I was talking right now. So, you know, I think that was, you know, from the Lord. I don't think my mind could have thought up a life preserver in a tree and all that stuff. But anyways, um, I hope this encourages the different people in the dream, the ones that are patiently waiting, the ones that are eagerly waiting, those who are serving and feeding and nurturing one another, healing others, those are who are sharing the gospel, pointing out the way to salvation. For those who have open eyes and hearts and ears that you will see that Jesus is your Savior. Um, that those who are just jumping out of the plane to their destruction will be warned. Um, that they will find their life preserver in Jesus. Um, you know, if this video lasts to the rapture, that you'll realize that uh, even though the rapture occurred, that you can still land in the trees, that you can still find Jesus at the cross and he will save you. So 
Um, I hope this encourages all those groups of people. And God bless you. Let me know if anyone um, thinks of any other insight from that dream. But God bless you guys. Have a great day. Bye.